What's going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and in these videos I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clicker train. Now I'm going to be getting some help from my little friend here, little Ann. She's an eight week old border collie and she actually has never been trained before. She doesn't know any tricks. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of clicker training and then hopefully teaching her a bunch of new tricks. You ready little Ann? Now in order to start clicker training, what we want to do is we first want to build an association between the click and the treat or the reward. Basically, we want the dog to know that whenever we click the clicker and it makes a clicking noise, then something good happens. In this case, they get a reward and this is just chicken right here. So before we even you know, start making it sit or lay down or teach it good behavior, this is what we want to do, just build a simple association. So call your dog over. Come on, little Ian. What are you doing? You eating my tripod? And click and treat. And right now, at first, your dog has no you know, knowledge that these two things are related. So that's why we need to repeat the behavior. So grab another piece, click and treat right away. And eventually, instead of thinking, you know, okay, there was a click and I get some chicken none of the two are related I guess they're just an act of God your dog is gonna to begin to realize that okay whenever I hear that click I get a treat so click equals reward so do this about 10 times I would say now your dog is building interest they want to hear that click before she was just running around eating my tripod now she's actively interested in what I'm doing and she likes this game. Right now she's doing nothing, click, get chicken. Pretty cool for her. So now go ahead and let her play around a little bit. And when she comes back, click, treat. And now she's starting to know that there is an association between the noise or the action of me clicking and getting chicken, which is good. So once we're done with that and the dog knows now that there's association between the clicker and the reward or the chicken, what we want to do now is we want to start getting out the desired behavior. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to teach you guys how to make your dog sit, but I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make it lay down and some other cool tricks later on. But this is just the basics. So there are two different ways that we can do this. The first thing that we can do is we can just sit and wait for our dog to sit down. And whenever it does click, or if we have a dog that's moving around a lot, what we can do is we can actually lure the dog into the sitting position. So let me go ahead and get a piece of chicken. Now the easiest way to get your dog to sit is just to take the treat and put it up over their head. Now I was kind of late on that click, but that's one way. A lot, of, a lot of other people like to take the collar and like slide their tail under their butt and then they sit naturally. But what I like to do whenever I'm luring is take the chicken and slowly put it over the dog's head. And as the head goes up, the butt goes down. It's very natural. So let me go ahead and lure again. Want this little man? Got a treat? What are you doing, little man? What are you doing, little man? Over the head, the butt goes down. As soon as the butt touches the ground, that's when you click. And what we want the dog to think is that eventually they realize that these two events, the click and the treat, they aren't just happening randomly. The dog is going to become aware that they are making the click happen. And essentially, they determine when they get the treat. So here you go. Good girl. Good girl, little man. And another thing you want to watch out for is you don't want to click too late or too early. You want the dog to know that as soon as their butt hits the ground, then they get the click. If you make it too late, then the dog can think that, okay, maybe the act of getting up gets the reward. And we want the dog to know that as soon as their butt hits the ground, that's the action that we're looking for. Want this? Good girl. And another thing, if you accidentally click the clicker or maybe you sit on it or I don't know, you click it when your dog doesn't sit, then what you want to do is you want to give your dog a treat anyways, because 
you want to make sure that you keep that association even if it's an accident. The association between the click and also the treat is one of the most important things in clicker training. So anytime you click it and you don't treat your dog, then it's going to destroy that association. Going to have a tummy full of chicken. Oh, good girl. So now she knows that whenever she sits, the act of sitting, she gets a piece of chicken. So what we want to do now is we actually want to throw in some verbal commands. Let me get some chicken ready and I'll show you guys how to do this. Whenever you start the verbal command, AKA the word sit, what you want to do is you want to say it right before her butt hits the ground because that way she starts to get the muscle reaction or muscle memory of you saying sit, butt hit the ground, I get rewarded. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl, little Ian. Sit. You also want to do this when there are no distractions around. That's why I removed all the toys from the area. My other dog is in the garage. So when you do that enough times, your dog's going to build an association between the word sit, me saying sit, and her butt hitting the ground. It's going to be good for her and she likes it. She likes thinking the mental stimulation is good. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Girl. Are you full yet? Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl, little Ann. You got that one. This is too easy for you, isn't it? So again, don't get frustrated if your dog doesn't get it exactly at first or gets it as fast as other dogs. Some dog breeds are just smarter than other dog breeds. For example, my bloodhound in my garage, he took a long time to get this. Hounds are uh, not the smartest, but um, don't get discouraged. Practice makes perfect. And eventually with enough time, your dog, no matter how dumb it is, it's gonna build an association between you saying sit and the act of their butt hitting the ground. And eventually, also, you're not going to need a clicker. You're not going to need a treat. Your dog is just going to want to please you. And once it understands that whenever you say sit, it sits, and then you're happy, then that's all that matters. Dogs naturally love to please their owners. So anyways, thank you, little Ann, for helping me out. And she now is working on sit. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe I'll be teaching lay down. Oh my god, she's dragging me. Oh my god, help me. Oh my god, little wing.